Well, the U.S. has suspended avocado imports from Mexico after a U.S. official was threatened. According to Mexico's Agriculture Ministry, a USDA food inspector received a threatening call to his official phone. As of right now, we don't know exactly who made that call, but with less product coming in, avocado farmers here in the U.S. are struggling to meet demand. Kimberly Cruz takes a look. The largest supplier of avocados to the U.S. is on pause. Mexico supplies 2.5 billion pounds of fruit to the U.S., while California harvests about 400 million pounds each year. Shanley Farms is one avocado producer located in Morro Bay. The president of the farm says he doesn't think the ban on Mexican avocado exports will last long because California avocado growers can't keep up with the demand. Uh, the avocado industry is not set up to be able to provide as much avocados as the U.S. market demands without the Mexican supply. The supply available in stores could take a hit. If there's a hint that it's not going to get settled and could take as long as a month or a couple of months, uh, you'll see prices skyrocket. While this could seem like a good thing for local growers, Shanley believes it would just turn consumers away from the product. That ultimately, it sounds like a good thing for a grower, but I don't want uh, the price of guacamole and the uh, Mexican restaurant that I'm going to eat lunch in go to 25 bucks. Nobody will buy it. On the other hand, something this will allow the community to turn their spending to local growers. I think it's an opportunity for people to taste the difference of a local avocado. Michael Wolf has been in the grocery business for 40 years and sells only locally produced and grown products. As soon as he heard the news, he knew exactly what he had to do. Yeah, I got on the phone with my organic supplier and said, give me some Santa Barbara avocados at least to, to help. But certainly all USA stuff and gosh, I got... $1,200 of avocados coming tomorrow, you know, and I'll still run out of these things, but they will be the best quality. Reporting in Morro Bay, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News.